going strong. Uh, yesterday we were here. Yes. See? Then we'll pass from here. Yeah. Today we are at Karatu. We will pass through uh, Ngorongoro Conservation to Serengeti National Park. No, look at the size compared to what we yesterday. We have we have many parks. Oh yeah. Yeah. So when you go in the park, there is also some police stops to do along the way, and this is one. No, he's not. He's just going to tell them that we are going in the park. It's protocol. They said we don't want our guy to get arrested. Luca, he's here. Okay, we are at the entrance to Nongorongoro. We are actually just going to drive through it today and then visit it in a few days. But in order to get to the Serengeti, you have to go through it. Very fast. Oh, look at that! See what? What? Maybe, what? maybe there's like a male. Look, they're all going back. Oh, they give up. They're afraid for a white rock. Well, I mean, there are babies. But why are they her. moving to the other side? Because there's more grass. I think maybe they like... need a change of scenery. <laughs> oh, change much? Oh, cause I think they like the grass. They're scared of the rock, so they stay at the. Because they think the rock is like a lion move or something. Yeah, it's not lion. They don't want to take that chance with the baby. Migration. That means the concentration of uh, huge numbers of animals. Start from uh, this point and do a cycle. This is the meaning of uh, migration. It's a cycle, but it takes a huge number of uh, animals. It's a great because it's something that is positive. We call it GNU migration because we have a concentration of GNUs. They are about 2 million. <laughs> and we have more than 400,000 zebra. And we have some animals who assist the migration. Like uh, vultures, damaliscas. You'll see all of them. How do they assist it? To assist something. It means you go to one place to another, but you don't complete that. Going to near the border of Masai Mara, you let it go, then you come home. That's your assist. <laughs> hey, Jumbo, you. Jumbo, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. What's your name? My name is Adam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Massimiliano. This is your family. Uh, yes. Have a nice family. Thank you so I much. I can see smiling face. We are officially in the Serengeti now. So we are witnessing the Great migration today. There is a sign at the entrance of Serengeti, and it said that you can actually climb this path. Climb Serengeti! And it's gonna bring you at the viewpoint. Let's see what happens. We're just going without the, our guide. Well, you 
So Luca is holding his pocket because where are we going? He's just getting rocks everywhere. I would love to do a drone here, guys, but they don't let me do it. It's prohibited. So after eight hours in the car, we need a little walk. Yes, mommy tried to take a picture. We call him Mohamed Luca. <laughs> and they are making <laughs> so difficult as usual. Wait, 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 stay there. Wait, wait, wait. Ta 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 <laughs> I, I don't understand you can't get off it from the cars but apparently you can hike here so how do i know there's not going to be a snake or an, a lion or a cheetah or a big spider we didn't see any spiders <laughs> you, look they send me first i mean you're the one who made us come here so dun, right dun, so dun, dun, you first dun, 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 dun. Flintstone! Flintstone! Oh! Azar! Azar! Da 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 Flintstone! Luca, what are you doing? I'm trying to collect rocks! Just keep... The pockets are full of rock. Look, come here. Ooh. <laughs> okay, guys, we are getting mad paddle everywhere in the Serengeti. So now he has to clean the window after the big muddy paddle. Welcome to our view from where we're staying for two nights. This is what we see in the morning from our room, which is kind of a tent lodge style. All you hear is the animals. They say you can see buffalo sometimes in the morning, but we haven't seen them yet. Beautiful way to start today. Okay, another day in the Serengeti. Let's see what we see today. Oh, I got you, Emma. This is like a hide go seek in a tiny car. Oh, right. Look how many buffalo. Oh, look in the front, too. Normally, buffalo are low dependent. They can't be far from water. And also, they don't have the upper teeth in the front. Not like zebra. Zebra also have the upper teeth, front, and the lower teeth. That way, always zebra they can survive even in a desert because they can become a grazer and browsers. Browsers are those animals who can feed on top mm. of the branches. Mm. A grazer they can graze all on the grasses. So the buffalo they are grazer. They, they are not browsers. Because they don't have upper teeth in front. So you see the, the sequence of that.
zebras. I think we saw zebras. We, we already saw buffaloes. We saw lions. No, we didn't. Are you serious? We what? did. Oh, what? No. what else did we see, Luca? A big giant bull. That was the buffalo. So we already saw lots of animals and there's lots of puddles because it rained last night. And now we're looking for more. Luca's really good at finding animals. Now they are doing some kind of video back there. It's a moment of quietness. There's no animals or at least none that we can see. There on the rock. She's trying to sleep and we're bugging her. Yeah. And what does it remind you of? The Lion King. This is Bride Rock. Maybe a bit tinier. Okay, guys. So he said apparently the lion is hungry. We may have to see if we'll make it out without being dinner or lunch or breakfast. <laughs> Having a three o'clock lunch. We are at the picnic site. Yeah, there are these spots where you can actually go eat. Nothing is closed, so animals do come here. We just saw hey, this bird get a viper. <laughs> that's the thing that's funny is that they can't. They, they say this is where you can eat, but if a lion smells meat, so they'll just pretend I'm a lion. A lion smells meat, really? <laughs> watch the Lion King a little too much and we have our lunch served with a beautiful view in the Serengeti so looking for animals all day <laughs>
this is a river yes. that comes from where? North of the park. Yes. And so you're saying it rained because it's very agitated. Yes, it's raining. It's raining somewhere, not here. So there's hippos there. There's hippos there. Yes, and also this is the pond of the hippo. Oh, okay. And also hippo among of the animals that kill uh, many African people than any other mammals. Yeah, so maybe we don't hang out around the hippos. Okay. Yes, and something else about uh, hippopotamus, you don't know that. Aww. Hippo are very territorial, uh -huh. so they defend themselves because they fear humans. So when um, they fear humans, they attack. They have uh, these uh, long canine teeth, they are more than um, 12 centimeters. So if you uh, if try to defend themselves, you're at dead. The end, you're dead. In Africa, we don't have a um, potable water to drink. So our sisters and our mothers, when they go to the river to fetch water, they don't know a lot about hippo. Oh. So suddenly hippo, when they try to defend themselves, they kill our sisters and our mothers. Oh my God. We came to see the hippo. We actually went down from the car and we walk right here and there is the hippo right there in the water it's unbelievable how close we are to this animal you cannot explain it the feeling that you have when you are close to this animal like that yeah. we were actually close to touch an elephant today from the car yeah but and now we are close to touch the hippo they are right there and you can't joke with these animals. It's unbelievable. The hardest part of a safari is find the right company. So what we did, we followed a recommendation and that's what I would suggest. We met a couple, they told us about their safari, about their guide, and they went with Gate to Zion. So we tried contacting the owner. She was very quick at responding and she's booked everything in two days. And just a week after we were here at our safari. It was the right choice, guys. If you come and have it to come to Tanzania, Gate to Zion is the way to go. This is our recommendation for you. Guys, next part of the adventure. So we have to push the car all the way to the campsite. Well, I hope not. I think we can do it. We have lines outside and our guys outside making our car get fixed. Oh, here they come. Oh no, I'm kidding. What? But now he's fixing the car, but it's not starting. We'll take a picture of it. See, that's amazing. Look at it. I can't. 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 I